Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. So, everybody's having a great Sunday. Uh, took a day off yesterday, a little R&R, uh, &R, kind of relaxing, reflecting, thinking. Uh, we are at the end of the second financial quarter. We didn't see as much of a dip as I had hoped, um, but it did come down a little bit, down to 28. We saw it go down to 28.70 and already start going back up. Question is, what's going to happen next week? Are we going to all of a sudden start to see a jump? Or are we going to see silver just kind of take its time and kind of float sideways for a little while? But even with that going on, I believe there's a lot of people out there that are trying to get into stacking. The reason this came up, this video that I wanted to talk about that, is because I had a friend reach out to me over the weekend and essentially start asking me more questions about gold and silver. Why? Because he was at a pawn shop, he saw some stuff, and then he started hitting a lot of local pawn shops and couldn't find any really great deals at all. Uh, then he started going to Facebook and start looking, and then he's sending me all these pictures of all these deals, and I, I kind of got a kick out of some of them. So I wanted to show you guys real quick one of them, just because... I would be shocked if this actually got anybody, um, but who knows? It might. I mean, at 660, maybe it might sell. Um, oh, before I say that, please take a quick minute, hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed today's video, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you've seen some good deals, let me know the good deals you've seen. If you've seen some absolutely crazy stuff, uh, go ahead and let me know. I've seen actually uh, six grams of gold, a uh, $1,000. I was like, what in the world? But this one was the one that caught my eye as the funniest. So this is a quarter ounce American Gold Eagle, 660 bucks. Now right off, that doesn't sound super funny. However, if you don't want to spend 660, he's willing to take a half ounce of gold for it if you want to trade him. So he'll give you a quarter ounce and you can give him a half an ounce. And I almost wanted to write back to this guy and say, I don't have any halves, but would you take a full ounce instead? <laughs> I just found that so comical. Like somebody would trade a half an ounce of gold for a quarter of an ounce. Um, you know, it's ridiculous what some people think out there. Um, but on the flip side, that's what is going to assist in pushing gold and silver to new astronomically high levels. Uh, and I don't say that willy-nilly. Uh, you guys know I'm down to earth. I'm pretty conservative. Uh, I don't think for a minute $100 is out of the scope of reality, uh, especially when some of the claims now are saying as much as one-to-one -one gold silver ratio, uh, $3,000 silver. I've seen some big numbers out there. And here's the thing, I've been modest pretty much from the get-go. And $100 silver is not crazy. Now, I know uh, one of my good friends and members made a comment to me, $35 silver by the end of the month, that's pretty uh, up there. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I still think it's possible. We could see $35 silver at the end of the month. Really, we're going to start seeing the move um, I believe we'll start seeing a slow uptick a little bit, maybe some sideways trading for a bit. But remember, we have the Fed meeting at the end of July. Is the Fed going to stand still again and keep interest rates the same? I mean, realistically, that's what they should do. They should actually raise them, but we know they're not going to raise interest rates. Uh, so the next best thing would probably be keep them where they're at. Hopefully they don't do something foolish and lower them. Because if they did lower them, that could have a huge move for gold and silver. But here's the thing. When I tell you guys the numbers that I'm thinking for gold and silver, I'm actually taking into account that, you know, we could see some crazy stuff happen. Um, what? I mean, we could see issues at another bank. We could see uh, the Fed do something crazy. We could see issues with the upcoming election. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, I had some people, I don't know how many of you guys watched the debates over the weekend, over Friday, Friday night. Uh, I actually stayed up and watched them. Was it Friday night or Thursday night? I don't even remember what night it was now. Uh, my week kind of runs together. I've been extremely busy lately. That's why I had to take the day off yesterday and just kind of chill and just reflect on stuff. Um, you know, to think what direction am I going? Am I pursuing in the goals that I'm trying to achieve? 
or am I maybe focusing too much on one thing? Um, you know, I have the goal of I want to grow YouTube, but I also have other goals that's relating to my personal life. And I also have goals relating to my stacking. And obviously, in order to get the money to be able to stack more, I have to do certain things to achieve that. Um, so, you know, it does take its toll, obviously. Um let me know in the comments below if you guys have been picking up any good deals. What are you doing now? As for me, uh, I never got in that big order that I wanted to get. Never pulled the plug. Uh, I did pick up a couple orders. Um, Universal Coin and Bullion was running. I, I mentioned to you guys time and time again, if you're looking for... I won't even say it like that. I'll say who I order from. Um, I use Chris over at Universal only because... Uh, one, because he's a friend. Two... Because their deals are phenomenal. And uh, three, uh, because he watches the channel, keeps in touch. And, you know, we keep in touch a lot on medals and what's going on. But when they run a blowout deal like they had the other day, um, on Friday, they ran a crazy deal. If you've ever ordered from them and you're on their mailing list, I've said to people, get on the mailing list of a lot of these companies. It could be beneficial. Uh, could it backfire? I had someone tell me one day, it could backfire. They're going to use those lists, all those email lists and stuff to track you down and come to your house and take your stuff someday um, when the government needs it. Uh, is it possible? It is. Um, however, how many people are on those lists and haven't ordered? How many people are on lists and don't have the stuff anymore? How many people lost faith in silver? I actually know one guy. I know two guys now that I think about it. One that got me into it, and he quit stacking. He switched over to the Forex trading, which is betting on different currencies. Um, has it been beneficial? I don't know. I don't really keep track with him anymore. Um, but that's what he had done. And, you know, so maybe it will be. Maybe it won't be. Who knows? Uh, I don't want to trade in gift cards when I can hold real money. And what do I mean by that? Fiat currencies to me are just like gift cards. They're just like poker chips. It's just a bigger casino and a different game. Um, you know, at the at the end of the day, if the casino goes bankrupt and you're holding the chips, you got nothing. If you leave the casino, you got nothing. Uh, a lot of ways you can consider that to whatever the currency is that you're using. If your government currency starts falling and collapsing, essentially when it goes down, you're losing money faster and faster. That's a, a big reason why I like precious metals. Uh, not just silver. I like gold too. But like I said, I like to talk a lot about silver because I believe silver has the biggest growth potential uh, to actually really go crazy and just go nuts in price. And when that happens, I personally want to be ready for it. Um, and like I said in the beginning of this video, a lot of people are now uh, starting to get more and more into it. They're hearing more. Every time you have a big movement in precious metals, that essentially gets more people's interest perked up. A lot of people saw silver go up 3250, 3240, and now they've seen it come down to $29, and they're like, is now the right time to buy? It went down, it's starting to work back up. You know, nobody knows 100% when the right time is to buy. But what we do know is we see the trend. The trend is gold and silver are going higher. And as they continue to go higher, they're going to get more expensive for a lot of people. And people that like to used to joke with me about it because they knew what I did, um, now are not joking quite as much. They're seeing the gains and they're asking me more questions. And though they might joke a little bit about it, I'm convinced that, you know, they're getting their feet wet. When they ask me, hey, uh, do you have anything cool? Remember that time you sold me that uh, maple leaf that you had got a bunch of them and you had some extra ones and asked if you'd make a trade and, you know, you had something. Do you have anything cool for me? You know, and maybe I'm carrying something like this in my wallet. I carry this with me a lot, these. Um, hey, well, I got this, but it's just one ounce. It's not anything super cool, but it is neat. And then I offer it up and they're like, oh, how much do you pay for it? And I tell them. And a lot of times I will get people into it like that. Um, it's a good thing to do, to talk to people, get them into it. Um, literally, these are the same people that will be around. If you ever have to sell a little bit of your precious metals, you might be struggling. It's nice to know that you have a group of people that would jump on it right off the bat. Now, some of them are maybe not going to buy a 
expensive piece if you've got like a one ounce gold coin. Um, you know, this, this gentleman that reached out to me, he, the first coin he sent me over the weekend, the picture was of a 50 peso gold coin that he had seen at a pawn shop up like in, I don't know, north of San Antonio. He went up to Dallas for the weekend and took care of some stuff and sent me some different photos, uh, of stuff. And I said, you know, it's a nice coin. It's a little expensive, $3,500. But I mean, it's a nice coin. If he's willing to go down to maybe three thousand, I would probably jump on it for three, maybe. Um, but much over that, I probably wouldn't. But it got me thinking. You know, here he is asking questions because he's looking. He's a little embarrassed to come to me and talk too much to me because he feels like, man, I missed out. I made a mistake. I wished I had bought more silver when it was sixteen dollars. But instead, now it's uh, 29 plus premiums, and here I am looking at it. And But like I've said from the get-go to him and to anybody, there are deals out there because there's always someone out there that has to sell, that needs money. The economy is starting to get rough, and when that happens, that kind of opens the door. What is this? Is that, uh, is that more silver? That might be something I actually picked up the other day. Let's see. Yes, it is. Some eagles. I actually picked these up the other day. And no, I did not pay $45. Uh, I would not pay that. A little high. Um, but there are opportunities out there. So another another example of I need to put those in capsules. So, um, so you know, a lot of opportunities. If you're looking... And you're sniping the deals. I picked up something the other day, a little, uh, it was only a half a gram gold coin. I found it online. They were selling them for like 80, 90 bucks. And it was a half a gram of gold. And I picked it up for 50. And I actually traded it to a buddy of mine. He liked it. And he said, I'll tell you what, how much you pay for it? I said, I paid 50, but I'm not going to let it go for 50. I mean, I'm going to keep it. I like it. He goes, what if I buy your lunch and I give you your 50 bucks back? I'll do that. That's exactly what I told him. I said, I'll do that because I didn't make any money. I got my 50 bucks back. But you know what? I didn't have to pay for lunch. My lunch was $20. It was 19 something. So uh, it was, a you know, one day a week. I like to eat at a, you know, a good meal. I've been posting some of the pictures. Um, I like to eat out once in a while to treat myself for all the, essentially the money that I'm saving in other areas. Uh, some of you guys know that I did cut my AC off for part of my house. Just keep central air now in my bedroom and my bathroom. Um, just I spend a lot of my time either sli sleeping or making YouTube videos or not home. So uh, it's worth it for me to try to tighten up my budget and save where I can. I, I know last time I mentioned that I had some other people uh, that commented that they do the same thing. It's, it's beneficial. Save money where you can. Times are starting to pick up and get harder and harder. As they get harder and harder, more people are going to want to save money. You're going to lose out on deals. I actually talked with someone today because I had to take my mower to him to get it fixed. My lawnmower broke. And uh, I guess somehow water got in the gas tank and watered it down. And needless to say, he had to drain it. I didn't know how to do that. I'm not mechanically, when it comes to engines or working on that stuff, I'm not good at that. Um, but we got talking. He said, you know, he finds a lot of stuff on the street and we'll fix it. So me bringing a mower to him for 25 bucks is nothing. And he was happy to get the 25 bucks. He looked at his cash money and get it fixed. So, you know, there's a lot of opportunities out there when you are looking. Um, so keep that in mind. With that being said, going to wrap up the video. Uh, this possibility I may go live tonight. If Let me know what you guys think about um, this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Leave a thumbs up, please. And if you're not subscribed, do the ultimate thing and take a minute and hit that subscribe button. I thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys again tomorrow on T-Square Talk. And I may even see you tonight, possibly. Um, we do have an ounce of silver to give out to one of our members. So... Be sure and keep your eye out for that. Um, and if you're not a member and you'd like to be, it's only $1.99 to become a member. Super awesome deal. Uh, your comments go straight to my phone. And on top of that, um, you have a shot at winning an ounce of silver.
because uh, we give out one ounce of silver every month. Uh, it's a free little game that we do for the members, and people really enjoy it. And your odds are pretty good because we only have like 32 members, 33 members. So uh, worth $1.99 in my personal opinion. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.